Ladies and gentlemen, how is everybody doing? We are back. And we are going to continue playing Hogwarts Legacy. And we're just going to pick up where we left off. So, if you remember, we were doing the Merlin's trial or whatever it was last game so let's get back up in here I'm thinking we're doing alright but yeah we did this Merlin's trial thing it took forever but we did it So let's see where we go here. Actually, I don't even know where we're heading to. Let's see where we're going, chat. Scorp's last hope. A 10 defense against the dark arts class and then these are the key things that we just find everywhere um, I'm gonna watch till my phone dies all right brother let's see if we can go to defense against the dark arts class so we can learn Expelliarmus which is the disarming spell all right, here we are at class chat. <laughs> Look at my goofy ass dude just sitting there. I completed all of your most recent assignments. Yes, we did. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay Expelliarmus, chat. The disarming charm may often be all you need Ethan to said, defeat Bruh. the powerful dark What's witches up, and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Let's go. We got Expelliarmus, chat. <clears throat> The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Yeah, where's the dummy? Okay. So, let's... Where's Expelliarmus? Disarms wands and weapons from most enemies who wield them. Also deals damage to all enemies, even if they do not carry a weapon. Alright. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Come on. Still at it, I see. Yo, Amber with the like and the share. What's up, Amber? Let me know. Come on, bro. Expelliarmus. It takes forever to Expelliarmus to reset. Amber said, hey, with the exclamation notify. Alright, so. We have learned Expelliarmus, chat. Let's go. Check out our side quests. So we don't really have anything exciting. Um, we can go see if we can find a side quest somewhere, actually. Because we got some time. We got some time to try and find a side quest. Rebellion. Expelliarmus. So that does not work for those. Still trying to find out what works for those chests. She's reading a book. Wants nothing to do with us. Oh. Hold up. This is a fun side quest, actually. Um, Where's Lumos? Need Lumos. Lumos. 
I don't think I've seen that one before. Looks like it would be up here, if anywhere. Funny the ghosts are chasing each other, chat. So if you ever hear that bell when you do Revelio, it's because there's something hiding somewhere. Let's go. Lumos. So nothing in there. Revelio. So that's a whoa. Someone's got a cauldron on this toilet. Can we open up all the bathrooms? Maybe, maybe this is a little immature, but... Alright, well... Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Expelliarmus! Alright, so Expelliarmus still does not work for this. Oh, look, chat! Look! Lumos. Oh, let's go take the moth back where it goes. can't remember where it was, chat. Was it up here? Well, we just passed right by where we were. It wasn't through doors. I think it was down here. So he came out, turned this. Remember we tried to do that to that thing. There we go. We brought it back to the moth, Chad. Or we brought the moth back to the picture. Let's go, baby. Level 12. Oh, the tile under your Rebellious. Something foul. <laughs> However, the mishandling of a crop in Bimbletonia in the 16th century and the accompanying tsunami of sink, stink sap left it with a rancid odor that even the strongest scouring charm can't seem to eradicate. Nice. So it stinks right there, Chet. Nice, West Tower. Hall of Hero Diana. Rebellion. Something up there. Damn, it's so quiet, man. You can hear the echo. I kind of want to go see what those chests up there were. And we go in sped mode, chat. Look at us. I'll tell you what, my guy's in some excellent fucking shape. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. You're not gonna talk to me? Okay.
Chat, you want to know the coolest thing? About being a wizard? You break something. You can fix it just like that. Rebellion. <clears throat> it's another one of those mobs. All right, well. I feel like that's the one we got. Revelio. Oh, what is that? Did we go the wrong way? Yeah, it's on this level. Bam! Another house token, chat. Let's go, baby. Rebellion. None of your damn business, flu powder, flu powder lady. Let's talk to Professor. Professor okay. Do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Oh yeah, Although, they do. We got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, <laughs> I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Wounded by time itself, Chet. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah. As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Well... Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. That we did learn, huh, chat? Rebellion. All right, so... I can't really find any Off side quests or anything. Are so let's just do our... Oh, wait, hold on. There might be a side quest down here, actually. Bear a moment. I could use your help. You wanted to speak with me. I Sick. did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. It is. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. Good to know. You see... We were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff scheme.
Ugh, well, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Wow. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's We're getting a little information so here, Chet. This is good. That no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. He literally wants me to be courageous. So that way he looks like he was hmm. courageous. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. Let's go. Let's go, Chet. We're gonna go do something. Maybe we get some cool stuff. I'm all about side quests, Chet. As long as we can keep side quests going and just get more and more stuff. Rebellion. This cat here. Wooden cat. This wooden statue bears the likeness of Panger Don, fearless feline mouse hunter, and devoted study companion. Nice. Another book to the field page guide. Chat, let's go. I think we're level 13 now. I mean, we are racking up some XP, baby. Revelio. Yeah, well, there's nothing more to learn about the dragon. That would have been nice. Accio. Yes, sir. Now we're a level 13. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Rebellio. Wumblebees. Wumblebees are magical flying insects that produce a... Uh, was that a triacle? Which will cause melancholy and consume foul nettles and nests. Okay. Pretty much nothing exciting information. Can I just... Incendio. Okay, well, we don't want to light them on fire if we don't have to. We are trying to go to the Hidden Herbology Corridor, chat, and get something. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Here we go. We're trying to find something that'll make that one kid seem brave if we bring it back. Holy shit. This must be the entrance to the Hidden Herbology Corridor. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Rebellio. Lumos. Lumos. Well, apparently it doesn't like fire either, chat, so. Oh no, we want Lumos. Yeah, there we go. Repairer. 
seems the devil snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Lumos. Incendium. Beautiful. Oh, hold on, we gotta get closer to that one to light that one on fire. Incendium. Not sure where we go from here, chat, but it's a we do something with this, apparently. Revelio. Guess we light that on fire, maybe? Incendio. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. All right, now let's go back to Duncan. Incendio. Dark pathway, chat. You gotta go down the dark pathways. Incendium. Oh, the gear slots are full. There's gonna be something so good in this, too. Hold on, hold on. So normally I would suggest not doing this. But we're going to destroy whatever that is. Yeah. Because it's usually something good. Anytime you got to go through that much effort to get to Lumos. Yeah, I should just take it slower. Okay. Repair. Huh. Lumos. Let's go back to the grounds, chat. <clears throat> All right. Damn, we were down there for a while, huh? Let's return to Duncan. Take the flu powder right to where he is. Let's go find him, Chet. Have you found anything to uh, prove my? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff Scheme Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Yeah, you're welcome, kid. Thank you for all of your help. 
No more puff scheme dunking for me. Just like that, we went from level 13 to level 14, Chet. So. That's exciting. All right, before we go on with the quests, I want to go sell some stuff. I'm going to go sell some stuff and then we're going to go back to... Uh, where we gotta go. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Chad, I think we're just going to sell everything that we aren't using. Like, although I think that's a really stupid idea. We're just going to sell everything we're not using, chat, because you're only allowed to carry 20 things. Smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. Gonna sell it all, chat. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. <laughs> That looks as if it was made for you. Chill, we could go all out right now and just buy some great shit. So any of this you have to be a higher level for? Just the shit that's not unlocked yet. That looks as if it was made for. Oh, okay. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about.
Oh, it's a cat chat. Let's go. We can read about unforgivable curses, chat. go fast travel back to where we need to go. Fast traveling to our mission chat. Our newest quest. Is it making me, it's making me like look this way. Oh. What is this? Why is it? Scrope knows about the book you found. It is it missing something? Scrope does not believe it is safe to speak out in the open. Scrope has left another note across the bridge among the circle of rocks. Take care. Tell no one about this. Scrope? Who is Scrope? I think Scrope is that goblin from earlier, right? Or is it the elf? I believe that's who it is, Chad. I'm not I'm not positive. I might be wrong. But apparently he left another note. There it is. Which means... Almost there. Head for the pumpkins just down the stone circle. Look inside of them. You may be able to help poor broken hearted Scrope. Pumpkins? Ah, I think I know just the place. Here we go, chat. Rebellion. The young Slytherin must be exceptionally curious by now. Meet Scrope at the water's edge by the broken docks. Down to the water's edge? Hmm. <coughs> this had better not be a trick. Nice. Hardcore parkour, chat. Looks like another one of those Merlin trials down here. Pretty sure Scrope is the elf. I'm pretty sure. We're about to find out right here. Yep, that's who it is. It's the house elf. Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you were followed. What's this all about? Your notes mention the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. 
Oh man. Especially if you We're defying the headmaster, chat. This is exciting. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. The private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm so Scrope believes that a treasured black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Uh -oh. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find So he don't want to go, but he's like, hey, while you're there, let me go. It seems this may You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to go do it because I'm not going to go against the wishes of my late mistress, however. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. Since you already are going for the pages, you better grab that ring for me, brother. That's, that's dead ass what he's saying. I bet you will wait right there, brother. God damn, dude. Can I? Yo, GOV gamer girl with the like. Oh, shoot. I didn't even. Looked away for two seconds, got popped. Exploded his ass. Let's go. Damn. Oh shit, we can't use Protego against these guys. We gotta evade them. How am I supposed to defend against that? Buddy just licked me in the mouth. Your journey has ended. It's a hell of a way to say it, chat. He said, you got murked, brother. Best of luck finding your pages. And the ring. Alright. Thank you, Gaming Girl, for that like. I appreciate you. So, like, this thing pretty much sneaks up on you. Hold on, hold on, I got an idea. Hold on, chat. Because we do not want to fight these things. That's why this level is designed like this. Looks like a kraken right there. Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. Nice. Now we know where to go. Revelio. Could it be a visitor?
Is this nearly had the snake? No. Richard Jack Jackdaw. The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. He said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say, I sold the ring a long time ago. Basil, what the fuck are you doing? Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. My dog's going crazy, Chad. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. What you doing, baby? You're making all kinds of fucking noise. Lost to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. She simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought <clears throat> if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, oh my perhaps gosh. it would lead to something that would intrigue her. He had to bother so, the pages, Chad. I followed the map. To what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? And I'll show you where to find well, the pages. Let's not. The Forbidden Forest is a horrible idea. Let's ask him how he I lost his I head. I guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, lightheaded. He felt lightheaded. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. Damn. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. We're gonna go loot this man's body, Chad. Lumos, candles, okay. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Can we just fast travel to Scrope? So the way I don't gotta go back through those things. Look at that. We're avoiding those things altogether, chat. Genius. Genius play. Seems a pleasant enough little place. I should investigate. Investigate what? We're not fucking detectives out here. Like, that's the definition of not my job, chat. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there. Chuh! That boy was never good enough for Apollonia. I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Well, Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. He's a credit to house elves, chat. Kind of sounds like a backhanded compliment in my opinion, but you know. A little bit of a backhanded compliment. Incendio. Accio. Levioso. Hmm. 
I know it's weird. Oh. Maybe it's supposed to go this way. That makes more sense, huh? Well, it's definitely supposed to go there. Let's pull it this way a little bit. Alright. I'm gonna try to light it on fire. There we go. And now... God, I'm so smart. Alright. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. This could prove dangerous if we're not careful. I am as careful, dog. Alright. <clears throat> Looks like this is supposed to be a trial for Merlin at one point. Let's look at our gear now. So we apparently got a new robe. Oh wow. Tell me we don't look dope, chat. Yeah, you're looking dope as hell. Here we go. Let's go visit our good friend Jackdaw. All the way at the Forbidden Forest. What are you up to now? This area has been declared dangerous by the Ministry of Magic. Oh god, chat. I'm thinking before we go on this one, we do a save. That just sounds like a good idea. What is that thing? Do you know what they do to prisoners in Azkaban? Forbidden Forest, we're not trying to do anything we're crazy. Because you know, smoke always ends up finding us somehow, chat. We always end up finding the smoke. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can. But I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. 
Keep your eyes open for a bird bath. When you find it, say Inframuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Here we go. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. We're revisiting where this man died. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. It's a deer, mm. chat. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin or Greek? Nothing to do now but keep going. Chad, I'm trying to go as undercover as possible here. Video. There's shit posted everywhere about this place being forbidden. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Alright, well there's the waterfall. I probably don't have to crouch everywhere, but like... I'm trying to stay as low-key as possible. Oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. Remember, he lost his head here somewhere, chat. And said, How's it going? It's going pretty good, brother. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, uh... Loyalist will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora's led me. We're gonna wait here and get our health back real quick, chat. Incendio. Alright. Let's go find Jack Dora's tomb. Remember, he got decapitated, so. He said Rebellion. a slight breeze. I wonder how big this place is. But he said he felt a slight breeze and then. Whoosh, got his shit schnoit. These rooms must have something to do with opening this door. No shit, really? Incendio! I can shoot. 
shoot this thing, but it doesn't stay lit for long. Spells will help me through this. Rebellion. Of course, it's a fucking. Fucking spiders, chat. <laughs> Light the one that's already dead on fire. Chat, we didn't even have to go in here, bro. I mean, I'm grateful we did. Because we got, like, that chest or whatever it is, which is probably going to help out a lot. Holy shit. That platform ought to be able to float straight to me. We're getting all kinds of shit, man. This 
so can I. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Jack, can we just say ancient magic for the win, though? See, y'all nasty little fuckers don't gotta bother me. They don't gotta bother y'all. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. Jackdaw didn't fall down there. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Can't light all all spider webs on fire. Even though that'll be awesome. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? We gotta find the skeleton of this guy, chat. I feel like we're not supposed to go this place. for these secret entrances chat I'm all for them man well wig and well potion I can only mean one thing we're about to get into a fight here soon chat not a headless skeleton in sight hmm. but I may as well help myself to this Right, plenty of new stuff. Plenty of new stuff. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. 
More spiders. Oh shit. Those fucking things. All right, well, we got to dodge him. Chat, we have so many spider fangs, I don't know what we can use or what we can make with them. We have so many of them. Alright. Pretty sure there's one down below too. I don't know how I'm gonna get that one. Rebellion. Unless it wants me to go all the way around. I'm pretty sure there's another one down there. Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. There we go. Woo! Like whatever that is, I've seen at the end of this bridge. I must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains. And is it more of the knights? Oh, we shit. again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? More of the ancient defenders, chat. Hold on.
<clears throat> oh yeah, chat. Here we go. Excuse me? Shit, chat. Damn. Shit, chat. What? That's unnerving. What's happening? Rebellion. I've seen this before. Green gods and the restricted section. Starting to flood. Oh, shit. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? That's crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. Man, there's never a dull moment with this ancient magic shit, man. Professor Rackham. It's you. 
Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability to see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Noise. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Damn, Chad. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present. I'm ahead of bed, you except know. to say Good that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Damn, Chet. Your connection to ancient magic has unlocked talents. Plus one. You will receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You have new talent points to spend in the talents menu. Chat, we're getting all the Dark Arts ones. Enemies near target are also levitated. That could work well. Ancient magic throw catches and throws. That's a good thing. Two unlocks build set. sprint while using disillusionment that's fantastic Chad I cannot wait because we can get Avada Kedavra at level 22. Damn. I use Accio a lot. I don't lose, use Levio so nearly as much as I should.
Chat, we are about to bop some kids, man. That's awesome. We got a talent and skill tree. And we unlocked our talent and skill tree, chat. That's fantastic. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? I've always said this. Well, that's great because we got I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder if this figure is back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Let's go another talent point chat. Rebellion. You need to learn to pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Let's go. Mother house token for Slytherin. <clears throat> All right. Rebellion. Chat, we're just getting hella. Let's go. We're rocking these side quests right now. this rebellion incendium rebellion the werewolf saga tapestries so this whole room is dedicated to werewolves Lupin would like that, huh, chat? Rebellion. Joe, we should probably go to our. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, man. It's late as night, or late at night, and we're out here. Why do you look at me like that? We're out here traveling the grounds, you know? Because we don't sleep around this place. Go to flying class. Madam Kagawa. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire Maxima and Edoras potions and use them simultaneously. Uh, 
We go to flying class, though. Let's go to our talent tree real quick. Yeah. We just spent a whole bunch of talents. What do we want to do? We need to learn how to use Flipendo. Then we can start unlocking some of this shit at level 16, chat. Let's go. Petrificus totalis emanates an area of effect that can impact nearby enemies. Yeah, I don't know. I want to upgrade all the Dark Arts ones. I don't use Levioso enough to get that. We're, we're just, we're going to wait until we're level 16. And then we can unlock the new ones, probably. Um, hold on there real quick. We can upgrade our outfit. We can just get that one instead. All right. We can go to flying class. But let's go back to our... Uh... No, not the map changer. I can't remember, where is... Yeah, let's go back to the Slytherin common room. You know, it's amazing. I haven't even unlocked the room of requirement yet. There we go. This Dedalian keys challenge is coming along nicely. We got five of them. Are you ready, chat? That's badass. That is so badass. <coughs> There's hella cake in here. We out here eating chat. It'd be nice if we could sleep, make it daytime. But I don't see that happening. You know how GTA does it? Hey. 
I'm gonna lie, I'm kind of getting a little tired, chat. Flying class. Here we go. Just take a nap until class is ready. That's hilarious. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. The goal of today Hello. is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now. Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Here we go, chat. We're about to fly a broom. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Oh god, Chad, I'm kinda scared. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. I wish I the had brooms are room. school property. I want them <sighs> returned in one piece. Used to. Look at us. Well done. <coughs> now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise. Oh Shall god, Chad. More advanced. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Ha! Good. I've got this. Ah, uh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Chad, I'm about flying as fast as I can here. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> My guy is really not enjoying flying right now. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right Crofton. in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. I don't trouble. want to get into trouble, chat. Kagawa won't even notice. 
Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow Bro. me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Yeah, let's hope. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? <coughs> And to jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. <coughs> you two been? Oh shit, Chet, she noticed. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. I tried not to do it, Chet. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're I... still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Oh, man. Apparently I'm great at flying, Chet. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You I did seem not say that. On a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. Oh, He's man. always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. We could go buy a broom, chat. Be nice if you could just pick fights. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice. Meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Ooh. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery. I thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. He's gonna give me some coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distraction. Rebellio. Damn. I'm a famous man today, chat. Everybody's hitting me up. Let's go. So this one we want to go to because it's to unlock the room requirement and that's important for our overall st uh, story. Blah, what am I trying to say? So we're gonna go unlock the room requirement.
which if I'm not mistaken, you unlock things to put into the room requirement, so that one's an important one. This one's a big one. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Holy cow. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. The room requirement, chat. This is big news. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. Oh, we're learning you a new spell, Chet. Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Let's go. New spell, Chet. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. <coughs> we shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I waited for you here for you for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchments than you'd expect. Look at this. Let me know if you'd want to Give try to meet tonight. To Sincerely, T. Until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me, can't you keep it down? I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Rebellion. Damn, chat, we're fighting a little bit of everything around this place. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Accio, perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs>
Incendio. That doesn't help. Rebellion. I hope that house elf can find us in here. There he is. There's Deke. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Indeed Deke it is. It is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes, Shed. the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. <clears throat> Holy What is just getting rid of everything, huh, chat? You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. Look at how excited my character is. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. Rebellion. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. I actually have something. I'm pretty sure. You'll find for this. plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Pretty sure I have one that we don't know what it does. <laughs> yeah, what's this? I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. It will all come in handy. I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called 
A spellcraft. Spellcrafts yeah. are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. All right, let's go conjure. <coughs> Whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Absolutely. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Chaz, feels like I'm playing Sims right now. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Yeah, this is great. You can just put whatever you want in the room of requirement. Decorations, furniture, statues. Alright, so... First and foremost, let's start Wigan Weld. This is great. I 
I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I should have plenty. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Yeah, I have like 80. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Why don't I? All right. I cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Conjure floor decorations. Oh, it's so annoying. Why can't I just... Damn, they really don't want me to place this right in the middle of the room. Two floor decorations. There's a mirror. <laughs> Chat, we're making this shit huge, bro. <laughs> this shit looks like it's for giants. I don't even care. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. Alteration the spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. Nice. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Nice. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Alteration. Just aim your wand at the item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Am 
Nice. I altered the floor, what are you talking about? Your space there we go. benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. All right, let's do it. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Wow. Dude. Mm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Nice. Lord chat. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. Oh, that's if you'd like awesome. To customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Oh man. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Let's go, chat. The room of requirement. We have killed it. I'm loving the white everywhere.
Well, this is fantastic, Chad. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of this course. This is great, Chet. You can just make what the room a requirement, kind of whatever you want. Most appeals to you. Actually, perhaps another time. Dee cannot believe how many beasts you have here. of all the potions you've brewed. Oh shit, that's cool. All right. Chad, I think we do one more quest. We do one more quest, and then I'm probably going to go to bed, chat. Just because it's getting a little late. It's 2.30. i got to work tomorrow. But let me change. I want that to be Expelliarmus. Resto momentum would be nice. I'm pretty sure we're about to go into a uh, primarily combat mission. Okay. What's up, Sebastian? Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. Yeah, something Gosh, to show us, Thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Oh, did you man. find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Not even the professors know, chat. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Okay. Here we go. I like how I open it, Chad. I don't even know how to open it. This is the first time being showed it, and I'm just like, wham, and I'm in there. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He sure. never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Okay. I know all this. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, 
and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is the that wand how he chooses found the place? wizard, Chip. No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. <clears throat> Ominous spoke to me about his family. Sounds like you shouldn't have brought me down here, Chad. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. And even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Uh -oh. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate oh, yeah. spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. He's gonna teach me Confringo, it Chad. It take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Here we go, Chad. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? All right. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. Nice. We learned Confringo, chat. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. Yeah, this shit's <laughs> dangerous. It. There's a reason it's banned. I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Sure. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Ah, oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? Oh, I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Dun, 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 dun. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the sea. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. I... That's what we're trying to find out. I... Uh, uh... Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. And remember, Keep this place between us. Okay. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl.
the Undercroft. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself at a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told oh, you, didn't Oh, shit, chat. You breathe a word about this place to anyone. Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. What a to. Slytherin response. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. Yeah, I bitch. don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. God, you're a little bitch. Sebastian, you know he's fearful about this. I tried to light him on fire, Chad. Did you see that shit? Oh, yeah. Level 16, baby. Let's go. I think that means we unlock new talents and skills, too. Oh, they're just spell sets, so you can add different sets. We'll send two projectiles back at enemies. Wigan Mold heals you to a greater effect. Enemy's ability to deck you is reduced. I don't know what. There's not another Dark Arts one we can add. Because I need to learn all these. Dude, I can learn Crucio. Man, I can't wait to learn about a Kadabra chat. Maybe that's just the Dark Wizard in me, but... We're gonna just increase the change to Rebellio, because I want to be able to find all the secret stuff I can. So let's see what our next quest is, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go to bed after that. Yeah, we only have side quests now, which is just like a few things that I just need to figure out. Alright chat, we're level 16, we got a new... We got a new talent. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip. We got a new history. task by Professor Garlic. New task from Professor Fig. Whole bunch of quests to do. Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Wingardium Leviosa, chat. A few prerequisite tasks. Do see me after class. All right. So we got all these quests that we can start on. Um, starting next stream. Revelio. So that is most certainly a good thing. We're going to pet the cat chat, and then we are going to go ahead and end stream, man.
go ahead and save the game. Seven hours of work, dude. Alrighty, chat. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for stopping by. Um, thank you for vibing with me, too. That was just... I love that game. Hogwarts Legacy is so much fun. Let's see who we can raid here. Chat, it's only giving me like other Fortnite streamers, probably because I typically stream Fortnite. So let's raid. I've never seen this guy. IGMI Ace. Go show some love. Hit him with a like. Hit him with a share. Drop a follow. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And y'all have an absolutely great night, man.